Hello friends, welcome to Southern Seasons. My name is Jody, and I am so glad that you've joined me. Today I am going to be in my master bedroom and I'm finally getting it decorated. So let's get started. I'm going to be starting at the, this end of the master bedroom where I have my regular dresser and my fireplace and this dresser here below the TV. We're going to start over here first. Now of course you have to have a little bit of electronics here around your TV, so I'm going to disguise them the best I can. I am using one of these storage books first, and I'm setting my DVD player on top of it. And then I'm going to place this little lantern that I have, and it fits perfect on top of my DVD player. I'm just trying to disguise it just a little bit. So now I also want to add something to the right of the lantern. I'm just going to use this little ceramic jar here that I have. It's got a French country look to it. And I just want to add a little bit of greenery here. Okay. Now let's get started on the left side. I'm going to be using another one of the storage books and it does coordinate with the bigger one. And this is my little cable box that I have. So I'm going to set this over to the side. And I'm going to be placing this little lamp that I have here. I actually have two of these, and I got these for free. Somebody down the street had them out. They were getting rid of a couch, and they had a few things, and they had the two lamps on here. So I grabbed them. They work. <laughs> I think they're really cute. I'm also going to add this little piece here because it ties in with the color of the lantern. Okay. Okay. Just another little piece of greenery over here. Okay, so now I'm going to put something in the middle. And I have this piece here. I got this at a thrift store a while back and it was brown and I painted it this color. Just going to put a few more tufts of greenery on each side of the books. Okay. Get this one to cooperate with me. Okay. All right. So that's what I'm going to put on here. So let's get a closer look. You know, I never knew what to put on this dresser because the TV is above it. I thought about just leaving it uh, bare, but I think it needed a little bit of something. I know you can still see my DVD player and everything, but I think it kind of hides it just a little bit more than it just sitting there all by itself on top of the dresser. Okay, so now let's move over to my other dresser. Of course, I'm just starting off with my two lamps here, and I'm going to add a piece here that you might recognize from my DIY. I think this looks really cute in here. And I want to grab another piece to set next to it. I have this um, French Country Key. I got this at Michael's a few years ago, and I think this looks perfect next to here. I also want to add just a little bit of greenery in between the two, like so. Now I want to work on the right side here of this lamp. So this little dress form I think looks really cute. Just going to set here. And I have this little grayish box here that I'm going to put a little bit more of this greenery into it. I've got to have a little bit of greenery on each side. And my next piece is this sign that says, listen to your dreams. And I'm going to set it next to the gray box here. Okay, so this is how it turned out over here on this dresser. I think this looks really cute. I didn't want to add too much greenery on here. I think just a couple pieces is enough. Okay, so I do like how this looks. I didn't want to put too many things on here, so I think this is just enough. Okay, so my next area that I want to do, we're going to finish off this side. We are going to be going over here to the fireplace. Now, I never did anything to the fireplace I was going to, but I just changed my mind. We're just going to put a little bit of the core over here. The first thing that I added was this 
looks like a window pane. It's actually something that you would put like family photos in. I laid it on its side so it would fill up that area right there. The next thing I have here, this is actually a candle holder. I showed it on a video previously. I got it from Goodwill. I will probably be painting it white down the road. The next piece is this little floor de lis that I have. I did a DIY on this before. It was all brown and I painted it a off-white and I did some distressing on it. So I just want to add a little bit of greenery right there. That is all that I'm going to do on the fireplace mantle. I'm going to leave the left side blank like that because we're going to come down here. I decided to put my bigger lantern here on the left side down below. I didn't want to put too much in this area. As you can see, it coordinates with my smaller one over here. And you might notice that I took that piece out of the middle. Yes, I decided I didn't like it. I think I like it this way much better. I think it kind of balances it out to me, having something on the bottom on the left and something on the top on the right side. And I also have this little bench that I've set here. Now, we are gonna head over this way to the bed. And I'm not gonna be doing anything on the left side here of the nightstand, but I'm gonna be putting a little bit of decor right over here on the right side. So the first thing I've done is I've just put a little plate holder here because I'm going to be setting this cute picture on here. I had this at my uh, previous home on the nightstand. I just really like how this looks. I have this little crackled pear, ceramic pear, that I'm going to add right here. And I also have this really old little alarm clock, little brass alarm clock. It was something that was my parents. I, just, I used to play with it. I loved it when I was a kid. And I just want to add a tiny bit of greenery. Just a few pieces here and there. And let's go over to this side and tuck a few more in. And of course, it's not cooperating with me. <laughs> okay, so here is how it turned out. I did a little bit of tweaking with the greenery here. I'm going to back up this way. And we're going to get a look at the whole room now. I didn't put anything on my tray right now as decor. I normally like to have books and magazines on it. I wanted to show you this area over here because this is an an old, like an old uh, love seat that was my parents that I fixed up. Now I know this looks not very nice is because I got this material as a remnant at Walmart. As you can see, it's uh, red underneath. I want to use this color, I think. So I'm thinking about this weekend reupholstering the seat on here. And I might even down the road paint that little love seat more of an off-white. Okay, so here is how the room is looking and I know you're probably thinking that is one big huge TV. Yes, it is. This was in our basement at our last home. We didn't need it in the basement. I'm going to show you. I'm backing up here. See how far back my bed is? <laughs> you can't see a small TV from there. So we decided to put it up here because we have a, a, a movie projection down in the basement. So. We didn't need this big TV down there. All right, so that that is all I'm going to do in here. I'm just going to keep it kind of simple. This room is not the easiest thing to do anything with. I don't want to put furniture in the middle here. I want to kind of keep it open, so I'm just keeping everything on the walls. Okay. So, I'm going to close out the video here with a few photos. I want to wish everybody a very wonderful weekend, and I will see you next week.
Bye for now.